prepare for Advent. I am a mom of um, six children. Uh, four, I love to say, were born with my body, and two, were born with my heart and through prayer, through adoption. And the adoption process is grueling and long and just waiting. So we were going through the adoption process. I had to go over to Haiti to see visit our two children in the orphanage that we had in place. And so I was there for a couple of days, and when I first got there, he wanted nothing to do with me. But as time went on, we were bonding and becoming closer and I was holding him and the day came where I had to leave them. So I remember walking up the stairs to the top of the orphanage and holding this little boy, David, our little boy, and he was barely two years old. And I looked him in, in the eye and I held him close and I said, I have to leave for a little while, but I promise you, I am coming back for you. And then I had to take this little boy and hand him over to the uh, beautiful, beautiful women that were caring for him in the orphanage. And I had to say goodbye to our teenage daughter, but at least she understood somewhat what was going on. But she's looking at me in my, the, my eyes and saying, are you gonna come back? And I just had to promise her again, we are coming back. We are coming back for you. So I get in the car and we're traveling down from the mountains of Haiti down to Port-au-Prince. And then I go into the lawyer's office and I tell him, all right, I don't care what you do you're gonna bring these children home for me. I was just determined and just bound that we had to get these kids home. After the grueling process, I get on the plane, heading back to the States. I'm sitting on the plane in Port-au-Prince and I'm just like exhausted. And I'm exhausted and I'm desperate from this process. And I'm just sitting there and it was one of those moments where I was like, Lord, really, really all of this? Can't I just bring them home? Can't I just have them? I'm just longing to have them in my arms. And I felt like God is saying to me, like just whispering in my spirit said, that's how desperate I am to get to you. That homecoming, that longing, that is what I want to you. I wanna be that close to you. That is how I pursue you with my love. And that is what Advent is. It's this longing to be reconciled, this homecoming that we can all join together. But Christmas is this celebration of homecoming, that we are two days away from this celebration, this beautiful homecoming. Fast forward four months and the kids are on their way home and we have this amazing homecoming. We're at the airport and there are balloons and there are banners and there are t-shirts and it has some funky saying in Creole that I won't say to you because I will butcher it. But basically the saying on the back of the t-shirt was in English and it says, love brought them home. Love brought them home. This pursuing love that we pursued these children and they became part of our family, that is what Christmas is. It is this pursuing love that God wants to bring us home. It is a homecoming and it is a party. It is balloons and streamers because you are coming home to this father that is crazy about you, that just wants to be this Emmanuel, that wants to hold you close and come closer. There's a season in the church right now, not only do we have Christmas, but we're about to be in a Jubilee and that is like an even bigger party. It is like, open the doors, here we come. Those of you that are far, those that are you are near, just come home, come to the father's arms come to the father's love he is pursuing you so as we take the next couple of days before christmas how are we going to prepare our hearts for this amazing homecoming and how are we going to celebrate this amazing holiday of christmas we are going to celebrate it by coming closer to him and he will come closer to us <music>